I think we're in focus. Hi, um, my name is Neha. I am a 26-year-old uh, artist living here in Melbourne, Australia, and I have decided in 2021 that I would like to start selling my artwork as prints and stickers. Despite nobody asking for this and having zero engagement or demand for my art. So this will be fun. I've always been drawing as a kid uh, on and off throughout my entire life and after studying media and communications at university here I was a video editor and motion graphics artist. Please take that with a giant grain of salt because I have forgotten all of my editing skills so this vlog is gonna be rough while my skills are still rusty so bear with me on that one. Um, so, But after about three or so years in that industry, I was starting to feel quite bent out and that I needed a bit of a break from uh, being in such uh, creative driven work. So for the past three or so years, I've been working as a patient admin uh, employee at a hospital, which was um, good in 2020. A um, lot, of, lot of fun things happened for everybody. Uh, despite that though, I am super grateful that I got to maintain a steady job and the fact that I was able to go into work and see my colleagues, who were my friends, uh, was absolutely not lost on me. Um, the rest of Victoria was uh, stuck at home during our lockdown periods, which were very, very restrictive. So despite everything that happened, I am very grateful for my current job. It's allowing me to uh, kind of do this side project while still maintaining a steady income, so I will always be grateful for that. This vlog is pretty lengthy already, so I'll try to keep this kind of short. Where we are at the minute is that I have created eight designs for this initial Etsy launch. Um, I unfortunately don't have a lot of footage of me drawing these designs, but I do have the Procreate time lapses, which I will have put somewhere, maybe on this side. <laughs> um, but in future, any drawings I do, I'll try and remember to pull out a camera, even if that's my phone, uh, just to grab some process shots. Um, I have done test printing, so I ordered a printer, I did not have one at home before, so that's been fun. Um, and we have a couple of designs here, these are the two main ones that I first started off with on the glossy paper. The I'm also offering them as a matte print as well, and those turned out quite well. The glossy paper had a couple of perforation marks from the printers, uh, the printing wheels as it went through the printer. But I think if I adjust a couple of settings, I should be able to remove those. But for now, I've got a couple of uh, misprints that I'll just keep to the side for now. What I also have, which turned out super cute, were little uh, sticker versions of... Yeah, I'm not going to get this in focus. I'll put it close up. <laughs> little sticker versions of each of the designs as well. So I'll either be offering these on Etsy to buy individually or maybe as a pack. Haven't quite decided yet. But that's about where we are for now. In future vlogs, uh, I will talk about more about the uh, Etsy process and any updates relating to the shop as well, uh, how that's going, or if it's not going anywhere, I'll figure out another topic I want to talk about. I do have kind of plans of where I want to take this uh, YouTube account into, um, but I also, I guess it'll be going into other social media accounts as well. So Instagram and TikTok, which I am deathly afraid of, but for now, I think this is long enough as an intro. Um, please enjoy the rest of the vlog, and I'll see you at the end. All right, because I uh, am very well organized. Um, not a lot of audio for this section, but these uh, little designs are based off my greyhound, Linguini. So she's a very silly noodle. She is a three-year-old uh, retired race race dog. Um, I adopted her in September 2020, and she's been a constant pain in the ass since. So she's very cute. She's very sweet. She's a huge crybaby, and like most greyhounds, she sleeps in a variety of fun positions. So um, that is uh, who this is, and you'll probably be seeing her more and more in the future. So here is Linguini.
Alrighty. Um, so what we've just seen is the A5 versions of the Linguique stickers. They are super cute. I loved how they turned out. I love the texture of the Procreate brush that came through. Cutting them was a bit of a bit of a hassle. My hands are real sore and I'm not really able to get a smooth, smooth finish on the edges and cutting around corners like where the tails are and, and those sort of curves does bend the paper, increase it a bit. I did reprint the set on an A4 sheet of paper and you can see the size comparison here with the A5 being on my graphics tablet and the A4 um, on my notebook there. The shapes were a little bit easier to cut out but still same sort of issues, not really getting a consistent line around the outside and cutting corners a little bit janky. So I think my options are to um, shelve this project for now, include the ones I've cut out here as freebies with any orders that we might get and perhaps look at them getting externally made as kiss cut sticker sheets because I think the design on an A5 works really well, like I think it looks super cute as a sticker set. The other alternative is me to buy a Cricut or a Silhouette cutting machine but that's kind of not reasonable at this point, they're around $400 here in Australia, not really something I can justify um, at the moment although down the line I would love to get one. Happy with how these turned out but I think um, Unfortunately, I've got to shelve them, shelve the whole idea for now until I look into other options. So these are the what's going to be like little sticker versions of little plant animals. This was a test print, um, but I didn't set the print quality to be very high, or very good, so it's looking very washed out. And there's a couple of like um, printing mark streaks. That's fine. These are testers. Uh, this is on the same paper, but the quality is a bit better. No, it is better um, for the actual prints, which is good. And this is the same glossy paper, so it is not an adhesive sticker paper, but I can turn them into stickers. And I think this came out really cool. I am thinking that I do like this particular design on a glossy finish, other than a matte. So I really will need to find plastic paper that doesn't uh, have indentations by the printer. These do have them, but I think because it's such a small, it's a small item, you can't see them. Like it's not as distracting as they are on the bigger pieces. So I think I'm okay with using this. Okay, so this is how you print or create stickers if you don't have a piece of paper. This is a Zion 510, I think the 5 inch wide version, you can get them in different widths. And basically on the inside of the machine is a cartridge that places a film of adhesive film uh, onto the uh, bottom of the artwork that you put in. So you put the artwork into the front here, you turn the hand crank, it comes out the back, there's a little paper trimmer for you to cut the ribbon, I guess. You peel back that first layer of plastic and you have stickers. You basically just need to trim that backing layer and that's it, that's all there is to it, it's super easy. Um, this machine is pretty cool, you can replace the cartridges and you can like do lamination and you can do magnets as well, which I've done, which is fun. This paper is quite thick, 250 dsm, so the ends do lift up quite a bit, but the if they're on a flat surface it shouldn't burn at all. They're not going to be waterproof just because the paper itself is not waterproof. I can make them waterproof just by putting a layer of contact film over the top. I don't know if I'll do that for these ones. These stickers here are ones I did when I originally got the machine about two years ago, which I got for five dollars off of eBay, uh, second hand, as I'm pretty happy with that still. <laughs> And these were also made with a heavy weight paper, like a, yeah, probably a similar 200, 250 GSM textured paper. And the edges and have, li you can see that they're lifting off a little bit and they always were, but the main part of the sticker has always been um, stuck on there. The coughing at the top was on a thinner piece of like acetate sort of material. And so because that was thinner and more flexible, it's stayed on like perfectly fine. So yeah, that is how you make stickers. <laughs> Hi, um, alright, it is 
Tuesday morning, um, bit of an update. So yesterday was a pretty big day. Did all the uh, did all the product photography for all of the prints and the stickers, and even got around to doing um, rough drafts of the Etsy listings. So all the listings are up. I just need to you know tailor the tags. I watched a couple of. Um, SEO, Etsy, SEO videos on YouTube, I still don't fully understand, but I think I'm, I, I have no idea if I'm doing a good job or not, the, none of the listings are public yet, just going to wait on a couple more things. I have decided to change things around a little, um, kind of last night, so the prints can be sold uh, separately or you can buy them as a pack of eight, um, and when you buy them in eight, uh, you're paying less for them individually. Um, I think I made them basically like half price. And I think what I'm gonna do is with each of the orders, um, I'm not going to sell sell the stickers individually. I think you can. I'll make them. That you can buy them as a set. So the set of eight. But I was thinking that if you buy the print, you get the matching sticker as well. I think that would be really cute. Currently I've just got the um, the main image as the glossy in the map next to each other, but again there's no sense of scale. I am going to put text on the image just to say like this side is matte, this side is glossy, and I'll just put like A6 in the middle, which should clear things up. And the description has also um, the dimensions listing as well. With the description for the first one I wrote, I wrote basically an essay. <laughs> I wrote this huge spiel about what inspired the piece then I'm like and you just have the text box but I didn't realize how long it was till I opened the preview and I'm like oh this is this is too many words so I've been looking at other artists I follow on Etsy um, at their store listings just to get an idea of how they write their descriptions um, the length of them what sort of information they included I had all the basic information so material um, shipping information packaging information uh, mid yeah, that's basically, and then just like a very quick line, like clown animals, cute. Um, so I think that'll be fine for now. Um, that took a lot of time yesterday doing all the product photography and the Etsy listings. Like, didn't realize how much time um, it took, but I guess I did what 10, 10 listings, so I guess that's fair. I probably in the future won't be doing releases in sets of 10, probably two or three going up a lot more often. I'm already having a lot of ideas as to what I want to do next, upload next, but let's just get this under control for now. I think we have an aim for today to wrap up all the Etsy listings, publish them, start Instagram, get the bulk of this uh, vlog edited. Okay. Let us try and accomplish all those things today. Alright, I have 10 listings. I have put in all my billing details. Here we go. Not, it didn't work. Okay, alright. Put in numbers incorrectly. <laughs> but alright, round two. All the listings are up. For now, this should be good. Let's go. Will it work this time? Oh, bits are happening. Here we all are. The gang's all here. It's gonna be a bit shaky because I don't have steady hands. The shop is, is finally up and done. And now we. I guess focus on Instagram and on maybe TikTok, still not 100% sure. Here is some uh, footage of Linguini. This vlog is completely out of order, I'm so sorry, but <laughs> I just needed footage to just quickly, quickly cover up <laughs> some, of, some of the gaps that I have here. So enjoy Linguini in the wild of my backyard. <laughs> So I've, I've had a pretty fun time the last uh, week and a half. I go back to work on Thursday. I've taken the last roughly week uh, to two weeks off work. Um, a is a break because I worked all through last year and all through Christmas and I'm 
tired. <laughs> um, but also to get started on this, so I think I made a really good use of my time and I'm actually looking forward to the next like two or three days. I've been taking days off here and there not to work on this, which I consider a little bit like a business. Um, but to play Paper Mario, which has been fun and frustrating. I am not good at puzzle games and I get very distressed very quickly. But um, it'll be interesting to see uh, how this kind of continues once I do start working more regularly. I work four days a week, um, in standard eight hour days each day. So I, I'm hoping I'll be able to keep up momentum and keep drawing and filming and updating Etsy and Instagram and TikTok whilst working, but I'm also going to be pretty easy on myself. Um, the shop's been open for four or five days. I have completely lost track of time. Um, and I've made one sale. It was to me, from me, because <laughs> uh, I was looking at a couple of um, Etsy YouTube videos and they say, um, it's good to at least have one sale on your profile so that people don't think that you're a um, bot account or anything like that. So I just used uh, one of my other bank cards to make a purchase to myself. So that was fun. Um, <laughs> so I guess I'm not too sure what else I can do from here other than just keep making listings and you know working on improving that SEO and promoting it on other in uh, channels like Instagram. I made a TikTok. It's not great. Um, hopefully those will all also get better. But you know, in the meantime, uh, just to figure out what to do with the um, pre-cut four by six paper that I also have, because uh, it, trying to make prints with that, it was hard to get it aligned in the center. Um, so I figured I was just going to end up with a lot more misprints than you know usable ones. So I have turned them into thank you cards. Um, these are the ones I just made. I figured I could do something similar to this. I think I'll keep playing with the design, do a little doodle, uh, do this name of my partner. And unlike the back, have like a little handwritten note just saying thank you so much for your support and you know, please recycle the packing materials if you can. And I also made labels with the little Boat Spice logo. So uh, I'll either use these to seal the envelopes or just chuck them in as freebies as well. I was really happy I found a pack of this paper on clearance of $5. So I've got 200, uh, 200 labels to have a play with, which I don't think I'll run out of anytime soon. So I'm real pleased about that. What I'm gonna do, just as some overlay over the top of this, is these are the, the mailers I am using. They are rigid recycled paper in an A5 format. I don't know if this is overkill, but I'd rather overkill than something uh, turning up bent or damaged. What I think I might do is I might pack a, a pretend order for one of my closest friends. She doesn't really use social media very much at all. So it's also going to be uh, just be like, hey, thinking of you, um, last time we spoke I said I was thinking about doing this, I'm actually doing it now. So enjoy some goofy prints. And also that means I can take it to the post office and actually figure out how much postage is. Because I don't, I don't know. And when I tried to use uh, Etsy's postage labels, it said uh, postage was going to be $8. I'm like, that's, that can't be right. So yeah, that's what I'll do. So again, thank you so much for sticking around. I know this vlog is pretty chunky and considering I, I don't have uh, a history or a past uh, collection of videos, um, if you watched all the way through the end, thank you so much for taking a chance. Uh, please he say hello in the comments if you're an artist, if you also sell on Etsy or if you, know, you just like art and studio vlogs, please let me know. I'd love to get to know you in the comments. My Instagram is bone.spice, um, you, you can find me there as well. But I'll see you in the next vlog, hopefully with some more updates. See ya!